Minus three degrees, White Horse Yukon. What is it today? It's January 25th. I'm down here for work and on the side, stayed over a weekend and we are gonna do some riding. It has been piss warm here. They're having trouble with the streets. You can see there's snow piled in the center. They've had record snowfall this year, but the last two weeks have been record warm temperatures. Plus nine the last few days. It has absolutely destroyed the snow. So my hopes of carving powder are probably completely dead, but we're going to head up in the mountains anyway and uh, see what the conditions are like. We got Wayne, Johnny, and Mike, and myself. Go have a look at some sleds here. Starting with four sleds, we'll see how many we come back with. Got a fire under the gas tank. She's like, she's dead. Let me take my pack off. I gotta grab a shovel off, eh? Oh yeah, That's she's burning from the bottom. Down. 
Like, and then, I don't know, like it's all underneath, eh? I'll try it. Let's get this thing here. And, uh, here we go, Killed her right up. Don't worry, you're not paying for this. <laughs> no. I hope he has insurance on it. It's like a gas line winch or something. Good thing you were out riding it on the hill. Mother Yeah. Oh. I hope there's none in the bay, eh? That's the thing. The She's, she was burning in the engine bay and Holy no I access. I thought for sure it was going with the gas. No access to get snow I inside. Know, that's what I mean. That was unbelievable. First time I've... No, it's the second time I've seen a sled on fire. It's the first time I've seen one that I was riding and catch on fire. <laughs> Holy mother f That'll get the adrenaline going a little bit. The other guys are gone up. I don't... Well, see, there's still smoke, eh? Steam. And make sure we're completely out as much as we can see, at least. Ready? Come. She's full f***ing on fire. Yeah, Were she's burning from the bottom. This, dude? Right under the engine bay. <laughs> You're rolling on all this too. Yeah, I f***ing got it all. I got it all from start to finish. Oh. <laughs> I took the second each time to squeeze the, the oh. record tag button. We're lucky to get that out, man. I, I didn't think we were gonna. I was gonna take the tank. I was ready to run, but I'm like, get it. I think we can get it. Did you see those guys or no? They'll come back eventually. Was there a screen right there? Yeah. Holy. She melted. Holy. Shit, you. Do you know if he has fire insurance? Probably not. Knowing Daryl. Daryl, Daryl. <laughs> I'm glad it happened like before we even got riding. Imagine if you were catching fire up in there. Yeah, or while I was riding and it didn't do that engine sh I would have been just zooming along until flames started shooting out of the f cab. Well, the way it exploded like that, I was just like, holy f That's good we didn't even leave the parking lot. At least you'll. Yeah, it was basically that. warmed up and that's it. Boom. Oh, yeah, she burned. Pretty good on the heart for heart rate though. Yeah, a little bit of adrenaline, eh? Oh my gosh, a little bit. And I was just telling you five minutes ago about the Polaris on fire. Jeez. In Yellowknife, like. Here, Al, it's time for a beer. Friggin' right, it's time for a beer. <laughs> Holy sh. Well, the last time I, I was part of a sled on fire, it was uh, my buddy Dave Ethelston and his citation ignited in flames outside of uh, uh, Lake Mataninda or something like that. I forget what the name of that lodge was, Mataninda Lodge or... Anyway, this is the first time I've been on a machine that has decided to ignite. And now the uh, boys are... <laughs> can hear him in the distance coming back, wondering where we are. We'll get their reaction. <laughs> on a fire or what? Boom, yep. Like
burning in the belly pan like f you should have seen this show man he's got it all on camera in his <laughs> camera like blow up blew the f screens up and fire like f my heart rate i'm still my adrenaline is like f f sakes. i didn't even think we were gonna get it out it was it was like i thought it was gonna get the whole tank it started with the it sounded it, as soon as i got on the top of the hill here she sounded like she was running on one cylinder so I'm like, ah, oh, it's a spark plugs. So I stop and I'm looking at Wayne, and then he comes over to listen, and then all of a sudden we notice the flame starting to shoot at the bottom. Holy man! That was. I hate to see it. Scary. With Daryl involved. Look at the plastics. Like, look at the. It just blew like. <laughs> what is it? Fire. You should have seen the fire we just put out, man. Plastics, everything. Huh? Put plastics, everything in the belly pan, the gas caught fire. Vent line or something. That's probably why it wasn't running properly. Look at that, blew that right out. So oh, you're fun. right. Oh. Doubling on a boss seat. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> with a backpack in my face. <laughs> Oh, it used to be anyhow. Mm -hmm. Nice to you. Pops up nice, eh? Johnny be spinning down. Nice view. Just waiting for my ride. <clears throat> Hitchhiking. Doubling. And then tooling around on other people's sleds. That RMK is sweet. trying to think of when the last video was because I was in Whitehorse for work and a little bit of snowmobiling that you saw but basically the Nitro XTX right here um, was just repaired new starter 2000 bucks later starter was about $500 and then uh, to replace it the engine had to be pulled so she was pretty apart uh, I think this will be the first ride for it this year really Viper has a new windshield. Finally, the back order windshield came in. It's the end of January right now. Um, 
going to try it for the first time with the new windshield. Looks like it will provide a lot of protection, more than my other ones, which is good. I'm looking forward to that because it's a really cold winter. Uh, as far as this machine goes, not happy with it. Uh, the cold starting issue is a complete headache, headache for me riding up here and makes it unreliable. Um, but as long as it's parked here in the garage, it should start and as long as I'm not overnighting somewhere. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. Yamaha is trying to fix the problem. They've done some work to this one. They replaced spark plugs. Uh, they checked the fuel pressure um, for the fuel injection. Everything checked out. Uh, it's had its oil change changed. I've got parts on order for the chain case recall. And uh, yeah, it's in Yamaha's hands regarding the engine starting issues and we'll see what kind of movement they can get with Arctic Cat on that. And then as far as the gear goes, I used it in White Horse and uh, not a whole lot of riding there because of the whole sled fire thing and everything and low snow conditions, but um, I can't really give the, the gear much of a review on warm weather riding. I'll have to wait until I'm using it more here in April. The only complaint I've had so far is one of my snaps broke. They just came apart, which they tend to do on every single pair of ski pants I've ever owned. That's at the bottom there, so. I think I can replace this, but yeah, like, look at that. The inside of the snap came off. And that's it. We're going to go riding to Berry Hill today and give this thing a, a little bit of a run. And then Braden and I are going to go look for moose tomorrow. It's the end of the season. Uh, last day off tomorrow before it all closes. So we'll see what we can find. Might not see anything, but we'll get out and ride anyway. Oh, shit. Give my pump right here. Uh, that's why I hate this stupid bag. This is her. Just climbing up Berry Hill in the daylight. We're halfway up. This thing lets so much snow in. It steams like crazy. Like look at my windshield. That's all from steam. There's so much more under hood heat in this versus this because of the exhaust that it melts that much more snow so it's an issue because uh, once it melts it's got nowhere to go it pools in the belly pan and creates ice as it refreezes fills up the steering boots and eventually freezes the steering there's powder in there But, yeah, 
and most of the time the snow was just getting in through this area and this area not through these only once like very rarely does the snow come over the hood if I'm on the gas so there's little areas like this that need to be plugged see it's just jam-packed with snow in there man that's not good can these freaking people not make a machine that doesn't let snow inside <laughs> uh. how's your windshield the windshield makes it so much warmer to ride. Yeah. Oh man, it's amazing. Combined with the, uh, it's minus what? It's minus 25 out. Combined with these, and the fact that that left handlebar warmer isn't working, my hand's still warm in the mitt. Awesome. I've got the stupid things turned off, except for the uh, thumb. I don't know if I noted that before, but the left handlebar warmer is not working. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there's a few rocks in here and there's another one of those oh, so you gotta watch out <laughs> to uh to get more bite on the skis yeah. when you're making a left hand turn stand on this running board okay. and just go really slow or let off go a bit let off and and it'll turn way tighter because when you press the gas uh, the back suspension compresses from the momentum and the skis have less pressure so they don't dig into the snow as much. So now if you go here, stand like this and drive it out, I'll just straighten your skis. 